So a couple years ago, this specific style of social media overlay became super popular and I never made a video about it. I also realized today that some people were selling them on Etsy and Fiverr. Now I'm not trying to take money away from them, but if you watch this video, you too will be able to offer your services on Fiverr or Etsy. Yes, learning from my videos can actually make you money. On top of that, you don't even have to make it from scratch because I'll post the template for free at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. We're going to go to photop.com. And immediately, if you want to see templates of things that I've made, including this one after I'm done with the video, you just got to click on templates and then type my name in the search bar and you have access to all of that. Those are all templates that you can use right now. We have some YouTube thumbnail templates. We have some YouTube banners. We have other social media panels. We have some Twitch overlays or YouTube or kick overlays, whatever live stream overlays in general, lots of stuff. But today, or at least for now, we're starting from scratch. So let's click on a new project and top right here. I can set the resolution. Let's go 1080p, even though the full thing is not going to be 1080p, 300 DPI background, uh, black create. There we go. We have our canvas and what we're going to do is something very, very simple. We're going to go to the left here and we're going to click on the text tool. Now I want you to imagine in your head, all of your socials and just type them. Now, if you're lucky enough to have one single name on every social media, then type it once. Let's imagine that your name is big boy. 69. All right. You can see that it's black right now. So I'm going to select it and then top here. That's the color. Make sure you select it. There you go. Up here, there's the size. All you would have to do now is basically size it up, go on the move tool to start moving it around and basically begin putting your social media icons. Those are very, very simple. All you got to do is go to Google images and try to find some transparent ones. This one, for example, I can right click, copy image, go back here, go to edit, paste. And now I have a Twitch logo. All I have to do is basically transform it to resize it. So I can go edit, free transform. Okay, and then from there I can just drag it down, pick a size. Make sure to keep an eye on the right side here. This is your layers list and you're going to see every time you add something new, it's going to be on a new layer. This is how you kind of keep track on what's what. Okay. Once you're done resizing for now, you can just press enter. Do the same thing for the rest. Try to do your best to keep them all the same size. All right. So what you can do is go back and basically place them a little bit better. If you want to, you can use the arrows on your keyboard. As long as you have the move tool selected, you kind of want them to be kind of close to really give that specific aesthetic. And on the layers list, top right, you can always hold shift and then click on the bottom one and select all of them and then do your edit free transform and then resize them like that. I'm going to make them slightly smaller, just like that. Now for the outline, we're actually going to apply it to everything. So what I'm going to do is select my text at the bottom here, hold shift, Select the one all the way up top, the top layer, and then press control G to group them together. So G for group control G. Now they're all in a group. And what I can do is add a specific effect to that group in order to add effects to the group. What I'm going to do is I don't know if you can see my mouse here. I'm going to go down, 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 down to effects, and I'm going to go and pick stroke. There you go. So we have our first outline. You can already tell that we're going to have some issues with the X logo because it's all black, but um, we'll fix that later. So now we're going to pick a certain thickness. I think that is fine. But if you want to add an extra one, the white one, you want to go where it says stroke and you want to click on the plus here that will add an additional. You'll see layer of stroke. And now what you can do is let me set that aside. Click on the color box here. It's black for now. Click on it, make it white. Click OK. You don't see anything yet. We want to bump up the size and it will appear behind it. It's not very visible, so I'm going to turn on the background again. All right, this is what we're looking for. Now let's expand the folder and let's find our X and just click on the eye to turn them off and back on. Now I'm going to select that X, which is layer two. I'm going to go to effects. And I'm going to go to color overlay. We're going to switch it from black to white. Okay. Now color overlay box is here. Click on the color box right now. It's black. We're going to click. We're going to make it white and we're going to click. Okay. All right. Then we're going to click. Okay. 
Now I'm still not too happy with the placement, so I'm gonna go over and actually place them correctly. Again, using the arrows on my keyboard. And if you wanna go back and change the size of those um, outlines, you can always click on the little arrow near effects and uh, double click on one of those and then modify the outline. There you have it. Me personally, I like to add a little shadow to all of this. So if I double click on the stroke, for example, it's gonna bring this dialogue. And what I can do is go down in the list and click on drop shadow. I'm gonna click on it, select it, and then I can play with the distance until I can see it. There it is. I can play with the angle right there. And then adjust the distance again. And yeah, you can play with the size. You can make it very big, very small, very sharp. Uh, blending mode, I like to keep that on normal since it's going to be transparent. And then play with the transparency a little bit. There we go, maybe the spread. Okay, not too bad. I want that black outline to be a little bit more. No, the opposite. There you go. Now, the advantage that we have here is that the effects are applied to one single group. So if you wanna add a new icon or anything like that, you can easily do it by just putting it in the group. Let me demonstrate this. For example, you get the template and you see this and you're like, oh, actually I don't have a TikTok. You can just turn off TikTok, go find um, whatever other platform you, you want. Then in my case, I'm gonna control V or you can do edit and then paste, but you know, you gotta start learning those uh, keyboard shortcuts. I can also do edit transform or control alt T for transform. And all I have to do now is basically place it correctly. Boom, and just like that, you just uh, modified this. I'm gonna double click on the folder name to name it uh, one name. Now let's say you have a different name on every platform. What I'm gonna do is go click on my text tool. By the way, on the text tool, if you wanna pick a specific font, that's gonna be top left. But also, you know, look around, look around. Everything is intuitive. <laughs> so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna go right. But if we're gonna make it in line and there's gonna be like four platforms, we're gonna need it to be way smaller. So I'm gonna select all of it, go to the size here. I'm gonna click on the word size and drag to resize it to what it's probably gonna be. And then I want you to imagine, you know, you're gonna have the logo. So let's do one space bar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven. And let's put another one. I'm looking at the camera as if you could see me. We could put each name on its own layer, but that's not what we're looking for here. We're trying to make it simple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have our text. I'm gonna make sure I select the move tool. It's top left here. So I can move it around. And um, what we can do is preemptively put this in a group. Now it's the only layer. So I'm gonna press Control G for group. And um, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did before, right? We're gonna select the group. We're gonna go to effects. We're gonna add a stroke. We're gonna click on that little plus next to stroke to add a second stroke. And that one's gonna be the white one. And now we're good, right? Remember that? So effects, my head is kind of uh, blocking it, but it's called stroke. If you if you if you don't hear me, then whatever, man. I'm gonna adjust the size on that one. Click on the plus next to stroke to add a second one. Click on that to select it. Make sure it's white and then adjust the size like that. Okay, now it's getting to, to look like what you want, right? And now all we have to do is put specific logos inside that group. In the layers list here, you wanna make sure that everything is in that group and they will inherit the double outline. Let's say last one was kick, so let's go do this. I press Control V, Control Alt T to transform, and all I have to do is just place it. All right, for the sake of it, I'm gonna put both Twitch and kick. Since this is gonna be a template, all you will have to do is turn them on. I'm probably gonna name my layers so you can know what, what's what. All right, now the big question is, how do I actually export this and use it? So first of all, you will want your background to be gone. I'm gonna quickly turn on my other group just to see where it's at. I'm gonna place it somewhere better. Nice, I'll grab my second group. Now I'm gonna press C to crop 
because you know none of that is going to be 1080p you can actually set it to 1080p and just place it wherever you want it to be on a 1080p screen but since i'm making a template i want to give you guys the freedom i'm going to crop it so i'm going to drag the sides here actually i'm going to keep it super wide just in case you you guys want to add more i'm going to call the top group multi name and we're going to pick one let's say i want to export this right all i have to do is go to file export as png Make sure my quality is at 100 and save. And from there, I can save wherever I want. Call this one, one name, press OK. And there it is, downloaded. And also transparent. So you can put this in OBS Studio and whatever software you're using to live stream, if that's your thing. But you can also put this as a sticker on TikTok. Uh, you can use it on Instagram Reels, on YouTube Shorts. All of that good stuff. And if you're live streaming like IRL, for example, you can also use that as a stream elements template, for example, stream elements overlay, sorry. It's just an image. So add it as an image. If you don't want this one at all, let's say you wanna only export this and you don't want all the extra blank space, you saw me do it. Press C to open up your crop tool. And then you can hold Alt to click sides and drag them. Because if you don't hold Alt, then it's just going to be one side. And then get it close so that it's easier to move around when you're ready, okay? In my case, I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a template for you guys. So in my case, I would want to export this directly. So what is it? It's File, Export As, PNG, Save, Multi Name, Boom. It's right there on your computer. There it is. It's so simple that if I wanted to add it in OBS, for example, right now, I'm gonna turn off my preview. I'm gonna click plus on my source, go to image, name it whatever I want, click okay, go find it. Since I'm a grown adult who remembered exactly where I saved it, I'm gonna find it right there. And there it is. And from there, of course, I can just place it in the corner. I can scale it down if I want to. And it's truly that simple. If I wanna replace it, I can just double click on it, go browse, Pick the other one, click OK, scale it, place it. There it is. All right. And finally, what happens when you open up the template? You go to photop.com, you click on templates, you type my name in a search bar, and you're going to see this one. What do you do when you come here? First of all, top right, you're going to pick which folder you want. So either this one or that one. So you click on the eye to make them visible. OK, let's say that's the one you want. You would expand the folder, find the text one, and double click on the T to edit the text. Bop, bop. And now you can put your at right there. As you can see, I forgot to make it a centered paragraph, which I'm gonna do right now. This is good that we're doing this. Okay, now that it's centered, if you modify it, there we go. It's gonna go from the center. Okay, double click on the T, the little icon next to the text. Okay, let's say that's not the one that you want, even though I, I don't understand why Photopea is showing me all this right now. <laughs> this is a bug. This is 100% a bug. Then I can collapse this group and turn on the right one. Okay, let's expand it. And in that specific case, I would turn off all of the icons and then I would modify the text. Double click on the T and now you can put... There you go. You don't have to touch the spaces, but if you want, it, there's seven spaces. Okay, since your name is gonna be different, all you have to do now is turn on those icons and uh, place them or re-add them in the group and resize them accordingly. Make sure you have the move tool selected, top left. And uh, yeah, just select the layer and then move it. Select the layer and then move it. Once you're done, you can crop if you want, like this, like that. Press enter and then file, export as, PNG, save, name whatever you want, click save, and there you have it, okay? I believe I told you everything. Do not ask me, how do I add Spotify? The, the same way I added every other logo. I went to Google Images, I found a transparent one, right-clicked on it, copy image, came back, uh, edit, paste, transform, put it in a group, and just place it wherever you want. Anyways, that's it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss videos like this where I usually share a bunch of stuff for free for live streamers, content creators, and um, I'll see you next time.
Bye-bye.